in this tutorial we will learn about vb code that will count total words in a cell on this sheet i have some text value in cell a2 i want to count total words in this cell so to do this task i have one command button on this sheet which has vba code written in the back end once i click on this command button then VBA code will be executed and it will count total words in A2 cell and give result in this cell which is B2. So let me click this command button. We can see that total words available in A2 are 6. So let me try one more time. So let me write some other text. How is the weather today in Delhi? Now I have changed text value in A2. Once I click this command button, we can see now total words that are in A2 are 8. Let's understand the VB code and logic that I have developed for counting total words and applied here. So I'll go to developer tab and I'll click on design mode. Once I click on design mode, I can double click on this command button and go to VB editor window. So this is the VB code that I have written to do this task. So let me explain this VBA code. The logic that I have used here to count total words in a cell value is by checking each character or I would say each digit if that character or that digit is space or not. Let me minimize this VBA editor window. Here we can see that after first word that is how we have one space so this is the logic that i have applied or used here in writing vba code so let me write comment here this vba code counts number of words in a cell value by checking each character or digit. Now the first line is total words equal to 1. So what this line is doing, let me write comment for this. Declaring variable to store total count sorry declaring variable to store total count of words and initializing with one Now next line says my string equal to work street sheet one dot cells then two and one this two is for row and one is for column let me minimize and show you second row that means two and first column that is a so in vba code i have used two and one dot value so what this line is doing let me write comment for this. Assigning value of cell to my string variable. Here this program is assigning value from A to cell. 
so we can modify this as per requirement or if we have larger data then we can just write some more lines of VBA code to loop through so that all the data can perform to count words now these two variables I am declaring for length of a string and once I loop through the cell value I want to evaluate each letter so from where we can start so let me write comments for these two declaring variable to store length of cell and then this variable is for starting point to evaluate so this variable is for a starting point to evaluate each character in the cell now we have string length this is for counting the length or digits in the assigned value which we are assigning in this line and then I have used one for loop so that I can evaluate each character of the cell loop to check each character of the cell and this is the so what this code is doing start point equal to 1 to string length and then I have used one if condition if mid that means in my string in cell value first character to first character if it is a space then add one two total words then it will be increased by one next once this loop runs for next time then here value will be two that means second and then one more digit so this is how this this is how this loop will continue and keep adding if there is any space once the spaces are counted I am storing total number in cell B2 by using this line of BVA code so let me write here here to store total words in cell B2 so this is the VBA code that I have written simply here but if there is any different requirement or I would say similar requirement with different range of data we can modify little bit in this code and complete our task there is no available function in Excel so this VB code is very helpful sometimes for data science sometimes for automations sometimes for different data analysis requirement thanks for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe to my channel for more Excel VBA learning tutorials thank you